Hey, Greater Life, welcome back to our series on our relationship with God and our relatable God that we have. I hope that this is being a benefit and blessing to you as we continue to move forward uh, through this. The last two have comprised of God, our Creator, and God, our Savior, and how we have a relationship with Him um, in those contexts. Today, we're going to talk about how it's uh, maybe a little bit more personal to us in some regards that He is our Father. And that's just our father. He's also a friend. So let's talk about this uh, because things with God can start to get a little more personal, let's say, uh, because he, what he wants from us more than anything is he wants relationship. He desires relationship with you more than you could even know or comprehend. But sometimes our healing relationships can shape uh, the way that we view our relationship and our approach to God as our father. Um, in from 2 Corinthians 6, 18, it says this, it says, I will be a father to you and you will be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. That was a theme that kind of continued to resonate throughout the Old Testament and carries over into the New Testament for New Testament believers as well. Galatians 4, verse 6 says, And because you are sons, God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. Therefore, you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then an heir of God through Christ. And in John 1, chapter 12, it says, But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And sometimes we can get thrown off in this because our view of our heavenly father is often similar in ways that we view our relationship with our earthly father. But know this, that your heavenly father is not like our earthly fathers. Even, even if we have great earthly fathers and things like that, he's just far and above than all of that. He, he doesn't fall short, no matter how we might feel about our earthly fathers or father figures in this world. God is not like that. He's a father that does not leave us. He doesn't forsake us. He provides uh, really a depth in relationship. He doesn't provide empty or shallow uh, promises. He's pure and he's holy. And he wants a relationship with a son or a daughter. He wants you to talk to him as you would talk to a father. And sometimes that can be a little bit of a challenge, especially as we get like quite a bit older, we can say, well, I don't really know if that really applies to me. It's like, well, yes, it does. And he wants to talk to you that way. He wants to relate with you as your father. But he's not just your father. He's also calling you friend. John 15, 13 says this. It says, greater love has no one than this than to lay down one's life for his friends. You are my friends if you do whatever I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for a servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends. It's a little bit difficult to think of God that way. Um, but this is how he wants to relate with you. So this is a really interesting thing is that in scripture, it specifically says, and these are words of Jesus. He says, I am calling you friend. And sometimes we say, well, we're his, oh, we're friends with him or he's my friend. And that's fine. We can, we can do that. But he is actually initiating that. He's initiating that level, that closeness and that relationship by saying, I'm, I'm calling you friend. And that's what he wants. He wants to be your father, um, but he also wants to be close like a friend. And that's what he wants from you. So how do we relate with him? Well, that's going to be our discussion questions for today. The first one is this. What do healthy relationships with father and friend look like? And then discuss what healthy relationship with God like that looks like as your father, as a friend. God bless you.